Today we're going to be covering the stage seven vocabulary. Our first word is cannot, kanawit. All right, and this is the first time we've seen verbs presented like this. They give us our present form and our perfect form. And that's what we're going to see verbs for the rest of the year in these two forms, um, because not all of them share the same stem. This is a nice one, kenna, kenna, get repeated, but some of them are going to change. So they'll show us the present and the perfect for the rest of the year. So I've already given it away. It's a verb. It means to, it eats dinner or dines. It's obviously related to the Latin noun kenna, meaning dinner. Centurio is a third declension noun meaning centurion. It's a, a, a think of it as like a non-commissioned officer in the Roman army. And they are identifiable by their plume of the hair. This is a reenactor, obviously. Conspicuate, conspects it. It's here, present form, perfect form, and you can see how it's changed. The I changed to an E, the C to an X. It's a verb that means catches sight of. Here, the puelli conspexerunt uh, the ar, uh, awa, awam, the bird. Cum is a preposition meaning with. Here, Caecilius uh, est cum metella. So Caecilius is with metella. Facet, fake it, is a verb meaning does or makes. Here we can see Nick Offerman making uh, a woodwork item. Hieri is a word we've seen. It's an adverb meaning yesterday. All right. So, hodie, today, hieri, yesterday, cross, tomorrow. Ingens is an adjective meaning huge. Canis ingens. Intelligit, intellexit, it's a verb meaning understands. Lacrimat, lacrimawit is a verb meaning cries or weeps. Mortuous is an adjective meaning dead, although technically this person is the living dead. Close enough, right? Narat, narawit is a verb meaning tells or relates. Okay, here the woman, the femina, uh, totam rem narawit. So the woman tells the whole story. Nekat, nekawit is the first of many verbs that means kills. Okay? Uh, here we can see Hercules killing the uh, opponent, Cacus. All right? Literally, the Latin up here says Hercules uh, overpowers the uh, fire breathing Cacus. Nihil is a noun, but it's irregular because it's the same no matter what, whether it's a subject or a direct object. It means nothing. Omnis is an adjective meaning all. So, omnis Pompeiani, all of, uh, omnes Pompeiani, all the Pompeians. Para parawit is a verb meaning prepares. Here we see a box for preparing. Pestis is a third declension noun meaning pest or rascal. Poculum is a noun a, that means cup. And this is what an actual po glass poculum uh, looks like from ancient Rome. Procedit, procesit is a verb meaning advances or proceeds. Prope is a preposition meaning near. All right, so the pala uh, es prope uh, scatulam. Poker is an adjective meaning beautiful or handsome depending on the person. So you could have a polker puella, a beautiful girl, or a polker puer, a beautiful boy. Or here, polker soulless, a beautiful uh, soul, a beautiful son. Rogat, rogawit is a verb that means ask. Takete is an adverb that means quietly or silently. Tamen is an adverb that means however. All right, and this one's a, a good one to really, really make sure you know well, because there's a lot of words that look similar to it. Terret, teruit is a verb that means frightens. Obviously, it's related to the adjective per teritus, uh, terrified. All right, so a lot of people might have arachnophobia and are uh, uh, frightened. The spider, the arachnia, uh, teret, frightens them. All right. And then umbra, which is a first declension now, meaning ghost or shadow. And then the last one, 
walde, which is an adverb meaning very or very much, like in here with the very hungry caterpillar. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, feel free to ask them down below.